Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. The name's Noor and today I will be discussing a topic I really wanted to talk about. And that is about the Absolute Solver and Anne. In the most recent episode of Murder Drones, aka Home and Episode 5, if you zoom in onto one of the scenes, you'll see that N and V are now Uzi's little tiny puppets, and are now easily controlled by Uzi. Well, what do I mean? Well, Uzi, or so-called the user DarkX1217, is now N and V's administrator. Now, if you go back all the way to episode 1 in the pilot, you would have known that when N was rebooting, it told us who his administration was. And that was Sin, who was blocking and preventing the absolute solver to repair N. But now that Uzi is the admin, it makes me wonder, can N use the absolute solver now? And not just N, can V also use the absolute solver? I mean, I bet Uzi didn't block the absolute solver and the permissions and privileges within N or V like how Sin did so she could be in full control of everything. Not only that, but it also makes me wonder, what happens if the absolute solver within the disassembly drones fully becomes activated, not just as a backup program, but Uzi was mentioning in episode 2, but a full program that awakens within the disassembly drones and begins to be able to control their every movement. Will they also physically upgrade or have a new cool and physical traits like a dragon-like tail? If not, I'm guessing when the disassembly drone goes to the absolute solver and gets activated fully, their XIs, when used being in a kill mode, will change to the absolute solver symbol. Instead, now with Uzi being the admin and her base color being purple, the absolute solver symbol could be purple for both N and V instead of yellow being the base color for the disassembly drones. It could also be yellow, I mean, who knows. Not to mention that if the disassembly drones, like the absolute solver gets fully activated within them, um, they would also have like the same powers as Uzi, Doll, and Nori. I'm guessing they would also be able to levitate things, duplicate, multiply, delete, edit, and do some horrific stuff. Not to mention, when Uzi turned into a zombie drone, Uzi required more oil than a regular disassembly drone and overheated quite quickly and more often and more severely. So what does that mean for N? Mostly now that if he is able to contain and use the absolute solver powers, which probably uses a lot more energy, will he be able to survive? If Uzi doesn't even let N drink or slaughter worker drones for his need of oil to survive, not to mention, how is N surviving without oil? The last time he drank oil was in episode 1. Uh, for V, she's been like drinking oil from episode 1, 2, three, and four. But a question I would like to ask is, does Uzi give N her little oil juice boxes or something? Because he definitely needs way more than a tiny juice box. If Uzi does not share oil or give N or V the juice boxes, that's really a sign of selfishness. You're drinking oil and God knows when your own best friend had some. And you know that if they don't have it, they can eventually either kill you or an important character that has a special connection towards you, or just overheat and die from the sun. Which option do you want to pick, Uzi? Because none of them are positive and heartwarming to me. And with the grand finale of episode 5, seeing all the gang meeting each other is crazy. Like, I knew somewhat in an episode that they will all meet, but dang. What will Uzi's reaction be towards a human? She's like, oh, let's kill all humans. Oh, Tessa disappears out of nowhere, shit. And like, but the question I have is like, if N actually can use the absolute solver, at what time will he realize that he can use the absolute solver? Would it be at a most random and out of context moment or a death and life, life and death situation? Because it might even happen in between the battle and that would be really crazy. And not just for N, V as well, actually, since they both can use it, I'm guessing, because of Uzi and how she's like the admin. But honestly, what do you guys think? 
What will Uzi's reaction be when she realizes N, her own best friend, can use the powers of the Absolute Solver just like she can? Will N switch sides to a villain again? Will N get corrupted by the Absolute Solver if eventually he will overheat? I'm curious for your answers, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and bye!